Hey doodlers, how you doing? I hope you can hear me. I'm in a very, very noisy London. Uh, I've got a few little book meetings planned today. So I'm spending the day sort of wandering around the town, which is really good. It's always so much happening here. It's always really exciting, as well as really noisy. But going to the city is a sort of great opportunity to do some people watching. Uh, see all the sights and sounds of the city and take them in. Turn some of those things we see, um, those interesting characters that we see around town, and turn them into cartoons and drawings. Using the same simple shapes that we used last week, circles, triangles and squares, uh, turn them into little cartoon characters. That... It's always a really good idea whenever you're wandering around. Just have a little sketchbook handy so you can do any sort of doodling, anything you see that you think looks interesting, whether it's a person or whether it's a building. Turn them into something, turn them into a drawing that can be turned into an idea that could be maybe turned into a story or a book or a comic strip or something like that. So, um, I'm going to have a little wander around, a bit of a spy, see what's going on, and then I'll meet you back in the studio. Uh, see you later, doodles. So, we're going to get drawing with some of the characters I saw around London today. I'm going to start off with that musical dude, the one who was banging, it looked like the lid of a barbecue, I don't think that's what it was, but I'm good, just going to draw a drum. So we're starting off with a circle and a square, and those little sticks are going to be his legs, that's going to be the drum. Can be holding one arm up, and the other arm's going to be down. Let's draw his legs. I'm going to have him perched on a little stool, I think. Let's add the detail around the face. Again, this isn't exactly how I saw him, but it's how I remembered seeing him. So it's just a sort of little sketch from my memory. There's his drum. He looked very happy. He had a little ponytail. And a big smile, so have it eyes closed, like he's kind of lost in the music. Let's add a little bit of stubble. Just a little bit of stubble, something like that can make a difference. It just adds those little bits of detail that kind of bring a character to life. I'm just going to make that line a little heavier underneath his face, just to sort of act like a bit of a shadow. There's the stool, so I'm perched on that. I remember saying last in the last video that sort of zooming out on your drawing or taking a step back, whether you kind of put it on the wall, stand back, it can just kind of uh, really help you sort of see it. Um, and you can sort of judge what's right with it, what's wrong with it. So one of the other characters I'm going to draw was a policeman. There was a policeman I saw walking around town. I don't think I got him on, on camera. But he just he just had like the helmet was right over his eyes. He just looked like a big sort of triangle, really. So he had his feet apart like that and his arms behind his back. So I've just taken this sort of triangly rectangle thing divided it into three the top half is his helmet bottom half is his jacket and coat and then the middle bit as you can see is his face there we go we just added a, a rectangle nose and a little mouth not even going to draw his eyes sometimes it's what you don't see that really adds to the character this is why it's important to have a good rubber just to be able to take away those lines in the black so I can sort of add details to his coat and his buttons. Shadow underneath. Now there was, there was a lot of people taking selfies in London, walking round, not looking where they're going, always taking selfies. So I'm going to take, draw a picture of a girl taking a selfie. So she's basically a circle on top of a rectangle. And that other rectangle you see holding is the phone. Add some hair. 
that little curve for the arm, like so she's got her hands on a hip. And she's really posing for it. You know how people look when they take selfies. A couple of little circles, just make it look like she's holding the phone. Don't need to draw the, the rest of the hand because it's kind of behind the phone. Let's add some detail. These are just really quick sketches. A couple of little dashes for the feet. Zoom out, have a look. Let's add some more stripes to her dress. Again, it's those details that just bring out the character a bit more. Now we can delete or rub away any of the lines that we don't need, just to kind of bring out those stripes a little bit more. Shadow underneath again, so it looks like she's standing on the paper. Now let's have a look at all three of them, how they all kind of look together. Yeah, they don't look too bad. Now I've added some more details, just some more shading on the policeman and the guy banging the drum, the musical dude. Some shading down the side of her dress, just to make it look look a bit more 3D. So these are the characters that I saw out and about in London. Really interesting mix of people. But you can still hopefully see that they're basically made up of those really simple shapes, the shapes that we've been talking about a lot. Uh, if I just get the red pen, draw over. Circles, rectangles. More circles, more rectangles. This the policeman is quite rectangular. So you can still see by just moving those shapes around that kind of all our characters and all the people we see are kind of build up, built up from these really, really simple shapes. So have a look around. Have a look at the interesting people you see where you live and try turning them into characters, cartoons. Until next time, happy doodling and I'll see you again very soon on Doodle Do It.